So here he is, ladies and gentlemen, with much fanfare, the former UFC light heavyweight champion, Tito Ortiz. At one point, he successfully defended this belt five times. Tonight, he tries to begin another run back to contention. You know the book on Tito at this point in time. Devastating ground and pound striker, physical gifts, and a mental toughness that few guys are going to be able to match on fight night. Tito Ortiz, back for more inside the octagon tonight. Ortiz comes in with a ton of world-class experience as the former long-time light heavyweight champion. He's a powerful wrestler, and he's probably going to look to take this fight to the ground and deliver some of his patented ground and pound. All right, so here he is, the founder of Jeet Kune Do, and the man Dana White calls the father of modern mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is making the walk tonight. This is perhaps the most influential martial artist of all time. Great combination of speed and power, and the power is really set up by his precision, his dynamic striking style, his timing. Bruce Lee was quoted as saying, the best fighter is someone who can adapt to any style. No one has been more adaptable than this man, Lee Hama Bruce. This guy has ridiculous hand speed. If this fight comes to a striking exchange, he will have a distinct advantage. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Both fighters are 31, with big differences in height, but a similar reach. All right, now for the official introductions. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler with a professional record of 16 wins, five losses. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Riding out of Huntington Beach, California, USA, Tito! This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, running out Los Angeles, California. Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. This Come has on. been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in, because it's about to go down go, right Bruce, now. You ready? You ready? Well, no better way to pay homage to the history of pride in the UFC. Whoa! He's hurt! Good job there of avoiding the clinch. strike here to end the fight early in the first. Yeah, we're just getting going and now the fight's over, but excellent striking technique to land that shot and ultimately finish the fight here in the first. You've heard us say it before, but sometimes when you catch a guy cold before he's had a chance to get going in the fight, it can have a bigger effect. It certainly did here tonight. Great angle here. Boom. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mari Yamasaki is called to stop for this contest at 24 seconds of the very first round. He's playing the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Mixed martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce Lee, lighten up your living room tonight and giving this capacity crowd a whole lot to cheer about. You know he's going to get everyone's best shot, but more often than not, Lee's skills are enough to rue the day. That was once again the case in this one. How about Bruce Lee?